guys, it's Joey. So I wanted to show you my Samhain project for this year. Each each year I uh, undertake some kind of larger creative thing that I create for Samhain as it's a special time of year. And I'm going to be imbuing this actually on Samhain. And what I've actually created this year is a Morrigan power wheel or a Morrigan charm wheel. And I'm very happy with it. I think it's come out incredibly well. I'm going to dedicate it to Bella Strega. Bella Strega, you know why. And oh goodness. And it was originally inspired by uh, BBC's Merlin had a wheel, a healing wheel charm thing on one of their episodes. And so I decided to create one myself. Right, so. This is how it looks from the top, and there's a very particular kind of metal underneath that the wheel is created from, and I've chosen that specifically to be a conduit, so everything is charged using it, and then covered in black ribbon, and there's about five meters of black ribbon, it was a lot of black ribbon. And then you can see the charms hanging off. So, in this we have my own mixture of Morrigan protection herbs with a charm on the little red bag. All the colours are chosen specifically for the Morrigan and she was very keen that I add the protection blend to the sachet and hang that. That was actually something that she told me in meditation to do, I wasn't going to do it originally, and it actually looks gorgeous with that little pouch there. As we go around we have a really large quartz point hanging on there, and it took a, a thicker piece of thread, thread string to make sure that that hangs really well, it hangs beautifully now. And then there's three crow feathers on this point, three that I have wild crafted myself. Then there is the Triqueta charm, as when we twist, here is one black obsidian spearhead, I'm going to twist some more, and then we have an amethyst point there. Now the obsidian spear point is very Morrigan inspired. The amethyst point is because it's my spirit crystal. Another wild crafted large raven feather this time. Okay, and another black obsidian arrowhead. And we'll just go around. A smaller point of clear quartz, a little point. Another large feather. one of the little vials full of obsidian chips, another clear quartz point, three of the skull charms in howlite, carnelian and black howlite, another obsidian arrowhead which makes three, a crowhead charm, another large um, amethyst point, sorry, and then a little witchy broom. So it's a little bit difficult to get it all in shot. I don't know, it's, I think we are as zoomed out as we can go. Um, move the camera right back. No, it's still, it's still gonna argue. Let's try very slowly. Yeah, that's a little bit. You can almost see everything in shot there. So it's not hung up yet and I have to attach a means of hanging it up. And I'm not actually going to be doing that until Samhain itself because that's going to be part of the ritual process, part of imbuing it for protection. It's starting to move, right? Ever since I've made this, whenever I hold it up, the charms go mad. Everything moves like crazy. 
and I think she approves, I, re I really think she approves. I'm not wiggling it particularly, I'm just holding it as still as I can for the camera's purposes and the charms are just going nuts and the crystals will go nuts as well, everything's moving, it's beautiful. You can, you can pretty much see everything there. Uh, and if I sort of, yeah, if I tilt it a little bit there. So the, I'm, I'm not sure what I call this power power wheel, charm wheel, maybe a Morrigan charm wheel, that would be really nice. I actually created one for my friend, for her Samhain, but hers was Faye inspired, so hers wasn't as dark in the colours and things, and the ribbon was different, and the charms were all Faye inspired, and the crystals were different to make it all fey and I really really love this I really really am pleased with how it's come out I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic when it's hanging up and I have a couple more of the rings so if anyone wants one I can make them however they're not a cheap exercise depending on what you want on them uh, five meters of ribbon alone is just about £4.50 for the ribbon and then that's before you've got your, your, your ring or any charms whatsoever on the thing so but I can make them if anyone really really wants one if not I just really wanted to share it because I think it's an absolutely gorgeous piece and I'm really really pleased with it so that is it for today many blessings <laughs>